64-year-old Yuval Niria is a professor at Columbia University, but he looked right at home atop the U.S.-made M48 tank that he commanded when Egypt launched a surprise attack during Yom Kippur. Most Israeli soldiers were observing the High Holy Day of Atonement, but Dr. Niria found himself on the front lines when Egyptian cannons and tanks opened fire. My company was almost destroyed completely. My battalion was almost destroyed completely. Dr. Niria suffered severe burns and a leg injury. As he recovered, he never expected to see the tank again that he nearly died in, a tank with a long history predating the Yom Kippur War. The U.S. sold the tank as surplus to Jordan, but it was eventually captured by the Israelis during the Six-Day War in 1967. Then last year, directors at the Museum of American Armor in Nassau County acquired the tank and contacted Dr. Niria. He said, can I see it? And we said, you can do more than see it, you can drive it. And that's exactly what the doctor did today, commanding the tank just as he did 43 years ago with great confidence and skill. Drive very smoothly, a great cannon. You know, we really enjoyed it these times to do that. The doctor's family joined him for the thrilling ride, left even more impressed that he endured fierce combat for 12 days inside such cramped quarters. It's supposed to be several somewhat large men in there, and then for me it was even tight, so it, it must be scary with everything going around. Dr. Neria now helps war veterans deal with the post-traumatic stress disorder he himself had to overcome. But on this day, he says he found joy in sharing with his family what it was like as a young man to defend his country against the terror of war. In Old Bethpage, Richard Rose, TV 1055. And for his bravery, he was awarded the Medal of Valor, Israel's highest military decoration.